Hi, my name is Justin Latimer, and I'm going to show you a Total War Battle Replay. And this is a short battle. What I'll probably do is I'll take some of these short battles and I'll put them in a compilation video. I was playing as Venice in this battle. Units, I wait by orders. And let's take a look at my army. I'm playing as a renaissance themed Venetian army. So I have four units of musketeers. Very good range, lots of damage. Oh, I have two units of musketeers, never mind. They're backed up by two units of Venetian archers. I like Venetian archers, I think they're very flexible. One of the things you can do is you can put your musketeers in front, you can put these guys behind them, and they can fire over the archers. Over the muskets, I mean. Also, they have flaming ammo. Flaming ammo can sometimes be useful. Italian Spear Militia is really, really good. It's pretty decent. I've got four units of those. I like the Venetian banners. The red and gold is very fancy. For my cavalry, I have brought two units of Broken Lances and a unit of General's Bodyguard. Those banners are cool, though. I've upgraded my General's Bodyguard unit armor. Looks pretty cool. They kind of look like him, actually. The guy right next to him. They shop at the same helmet store. I'm going to put my Venetian archers behind my cannon because they can arc over it, whereas the musketeers cannot. I've also brought some stud lights, light cavalry. Very neat guys. They're very, they're fast moving. They're quick. They carry spears and maces, and the maces are used to defeat armor. Very interesting form of dress, too. It's similar to the Hungarian, somewhat Turkish kind of clothing, and the clothing that the Byzantine Varda Roy toy wear. The Stradoites were longtime enemies of the Ottoman Empire. Resistance fighters. Freedom fighters. In this game, they're employed with the Venetians. But they would have also historically worked with the Byzantines as well. I've also brought some mounted crossbows. Mounted crossbows are very useful units. They're fast moving, and these ones have upgraded defense, so they have plate mail. It does not affect their speed whatsoever, because they're just cool like that. I've also upgraded their attacks so they can serve as competent light cavalry. And my opponent, my Hungarian opponent here, he has done something rather strange. He split up his army a lot. He has his cavalry on one force, Royal Bandarium. Very good cavalry. This is Royal Cavalry for later Hungary. And he also has his general in another unit of Royal Bandarium. There's four units of Royal Bandarium here, but the majority of his army is way over here. And he hasn't really brought a lot. He's brought dismounted chivalric knights. Lots of them. And lots of Croatian axemen. And they're backed up by Bosnian archers, who are not very good. Well, if his army separated like this, I'm going to focus on his cavalry, as his cavalry are on a good position anyways. I want to take this hill, because I want to move against his army over here. 
I believe this map is Tuscany. Tuscany is a really odd map. Take a good look at this. Big hill here. Valley here. Valley here. And for me, really no hills to speak of. It's fortunate for me that my opponent deployed in such a weird formation. I want to take this hill from him though because I want to use it for myself. So I'm going to charge. He charges as well. I'm going to bring up more of my cavalry. My Stradoids are going to hit the side. Remember, they're good against armor. Hungarians are trying to get out of this. They don't like the way the battle's going. My mounted crossbowmen are ready to shoot the guys to get away. And I'm going to send them in now as well. And that's it, my opponent's de admitted defeat at this point. Not even willing to see if he can do anything with his infantry. Of course, if he had, he would have had to contend with my musketeers and my archers that I was lining up over here. So I deployed 821 men, my opponent deployed 941. I lost 77 men, he lost 115 men remaining, I have 744 men remaining, he has 826 enemies killed, I killed 80 and I captured 35, he killed 91. Casualties inflicted, General's Bodyguard 5, Broken Lances 24, Broken Lances 16, Stradoites 20, Mounted Crossbowmen 5 and 2. So you can see this is a very low casualty battle, as it was very short. My opponent made a really weird decision in his deployment choices, and that's pretty much it. Not much more to be said. Thank you for watching, I'll have more videos soon. As I mentioned earlier, this will probably be contained within a video of a couple of these other battles like this compilation video. Uh, I guess we'll just find out. Thanks for watching.